Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today I'll be doing a review on Series 4, the Disney Hot Wheels character cards. Series 4. Brand new series just came out. Found this at like Tuesday, I think. Recording this on Thursday. Oh no, I think I found them on Wednesday. I um, found them. They're, they're very new. I didn't even know they were out until I found them in the store. And this could be the best series that uh, of the Disney character cards that Mattel has uh, released so far. At least in my opinion. The castings look amazing that they have released. But uh, you guys can um, pick what you series you think is the best. I think this series may be the best. We'll see when we get them out of the package. So here's one of six. You have Donald Duck. Getting closer to completing that goal of having the like Fab Five. Um, I think we just need Daisy now and Pluto. And we'll have that completed. So there's Donald. There's Simba from the Lion King. Looks like they chose to go with him when he was uh, grown up and not when he was a youngster. Pretty cool. Uh, three of six would be Dory from Finding Dory. So we could put her and Nemo. I guess I guess you could say this from Finding Dory and Finding Nemo. We could put her together with Nemo. I'm hoping we get Marlin, but he'll probably just be a bigger version of Nemo. So we probably won't get Marlin. Or Dory's parents, for that matter. Three of sixes, or four of six. I'm sorry, I'm lost. Here's Genie from Aladdin. Five of six, maybe one of my favorite cars ever is Baymax, because the car looks amazing, and I just like him as a character. So Baymax here looks like they chose to go with him when he was the just the normal Baymax, not the superhero Baymax. Which the Disney Racers chose to go with. And Moana, so we can put her together with Maui. They're both from the same movie, of course. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's that. Let's start off with Donald Duck here. Let's get him out of the package. We're gonna go from the bottom, it seems like. For now, pick up Donald's card as best as I can here. Oh, okay. didn't catch it. Uh, here is Donald. Uh, they kind of went with like an oldish style pickup truck, and I definitely see why. It's not a bad choice. So, yeah, let's take a look at him next to his card. So, of course, you can see his uh, beak here, I guess that would be. Yeah, the beak. You can see that there. Beautiful how they molded it into the hood, but kind of have it go out a little. Clever, clever job, Mattel. You can see there's his hat with a little feather thing sticking out. That would be this little, like, flag that they have. Really nice. His bow tie. There would be the little bumper on, there would be the little splitter right there. And, of course, it uh, looks like he has white, like, gloves on his hands. They didn't add that onto the car. They just have yellow wheels for his feet. And, oh, see the, like, the feathers on his back? That is what I think these fenders represent. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, he looks... If you put if you put Donald into a car, this is probably what you'd come up with. And, yeah, I think Mattel did a spot-on job here. You can see there are the headlights. And the license plate. Because I noticed that on a Dory here, you get a special little license plate. It has something to do with the movie. So... Yeah, Donald looks really nice. He's a little pickup truck from kind of an oldish style pickup truck, like maybe 1950s, 1960s. But um, yeah, let's give Donald here a ride on the turntable. Not roll off. And uh, yeah, he looks he looks great. He did a really nice job on him. I like the bill beak, not the bill. I guess you could call, is it called the bill too? I'm not sure. But I like the beak. The hat is really nice. Detail there and then the flag. I really like that they included that little feather off of him from his hat that they I think they made it look like a little flag So yeah, nice job. It's a good job Let's move on now to number two of six which would be uh, be Simba It was a very big like a uh, Safari truck. I think it might be Makes sense. I think doesn't he live in the jungle Simba? I haven't watched The Lion King in a long time. Really. I think they came out with the new one of the uh, like uh, animated like, uh, thing. A better version of it. Uh, like last year or something. Are they going to come out with a better version? Or they came out with a better version? I don't know. I, don't know. I, heard, I heard trailers about that movie. But uh, I, I, I watched the um, 
original Lion King, and that was a long time ago, so I haven't watched it in a while, but, uh, I mean, aren't they, don't they live in the jungle? Safari, so, looks like a, it was like a safari van or a van you'd see in that part of the region. So, his mane right here, that would be like this brown part on the cab of the truck. Uh, then you can kind of see his nose translates to that. I think the grills on the side there, that'd be his whiskers. Um, his mouth would probably be there, and there's his eyes. Uh, the cage, uh, or not the cage, this like roll cage part here, the vents and the tires. I don't think that has to do with anything on Simba himself. That's just added detail. Same thing with those... Uh, boxes right there and the chains on the back but the yellow it's plastic i think yeah it seems plastic of course the yellow back here is his body so i think if you put it if you put it like if you ask the person who this is who's very knowledgeable in the lion king i think he'd know who this is but um if you'd like put these two guys next to him uh or put these two cars next to each other and ask the person who has pixar knowledge um, to name both of these characters, they'd probably come up with Donald Duck like that. Uh, Simba might take them a little while longer to recognize, but you can definitely tell that. Uh, if you compare him to the card art, at least you can tell that he's Simba. Not sure how recognizable he'd be off the bat, but yeah. I think the Disney racers also have a Simba version, but uh, I don't have it. And let's give Simba here a ride on the turntable. And I also do like that they made him a, like, a pickup truck that's, like, a big, like, almost a monster truck type with the wheels. Because, uh, well, he's a big, he's a big fella, so. At least the version they chose, because he was a cub, and then he became the king of the tribe, right? Or something like that. So, it's, uh, fitting that they, uh, I guess not fit. I guess, I guess they could have gone with the baby version of Simba, too. Not the baby, but the child version of Simba 2, but they chose to go with the older version of Simba, so that's why they made him a pickup truck. Now let's move on to, or not a pickup truck, a monster truck, I keep wanting to say pickup truck. Let's move on to 3 of 6, which would be Finding Dory, well not Finding Dory, Dory from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. I like how, if you could look at Nemo here, he has like the canopy, the see-through canopy with a fin, and Dory also has a See-through canopy there with the fin. Well, we'll take a look at her when we get her package here. I think I think Pixar has the fish characters down. Don't know what it is about fish, but Pixar seems to have the fish characters down. Of course, P-42, if you don't know what that is, that is uh, P. Sherman, 42-something uh, road in Sydney, which is where, of course, in Finding Nemo, Nemo gets trapped. In the aquarium at the dentist office of P. Sherman 42, they find the tag, and Dory's able to read the tag, and, uh, well, they swim off. They they go to Australia, basically from, like, where they live, like California, Florida, something like that, and they go all the way around the globe to find Nemo. Um, but, uh, let's see, I'm not sure if the camera will focus, but you can see uh, Dory has, like, these little freckles right here, and they actually... Put those on the car right there. Very nice job, Mitchell. Uh You can see she has some black design, and you can see the yellow part, the yellow fin right there. You can't see all of her, but I guess maybe you can. But uh, you can see the black design would be right there, with like the little fin up here as well. So there will be a fin right there as well. She has that little fin right there, and then she has the uh, the uh, the back fin right there. Be right there. And then the two side fins, there they are, right there. And if you just, like, look at Dory, she looks like this model, like, kind of very tall and skinny. And the car is pretty tall and pretty skinny as well. So, like I said, Mattel has these fish characters down. I don't know what it is about. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's an awesome detail. They have seashells on the bottom. Oh, good job, Mattel. That's amazing. Uh, nothing on the bottom for Donald about Simba. He has some things, but I don't think they're anything of importance. But seashells, oh, that's, that's an amazing feature. Great job, Mattel. Man, they do have these fish characters down, don't they? They have these fish characters down. 
zoom in on Dory here and give her a ride on the turntable. Yeah, and then let's move on to Jean from Aladdin. Kind of an obscure character to make, but uh, I don't know. I, they could have made like Aladdin himself or something, but they chose to make the Jean. I guess not obscure. I don't even know if I've ever watched Aladdin, actually. I probably have. But, I don't know. Uh, well, I really do like the genie's model because he's a uh, van. He's like a, almost like a VW van, maybe? I don't know, but I really love his model. So, really glad that that's the model they chose for him. So, I really do like the genie here. So, if we compare him to the model... Uh, look at the front there. It's his teeth, obviously, right there. His mustache. And his little, like, he has this little pokey thing coming out. They model that on the car. I think it's amazing. Almost like a toe hitch. They have his hair. With, like, kids coming out. It's, like, gold, like, earring on the hair almost. I don't know what to call it. Well, not an earring, because the earring is a ring on the ear. Like, a head ring. I don't know. But you have that uh, gold thing on the, uh, the roof of the car with the hair. Beautiful. Ears, I don't know if they modeled his ears, but he has an earring there on the side of the doors, right? Well, I guess he only has one, so they only have one earring. Haha, <laughs> beautiful job, you tell. He has these, like, golden uh, bracelets. I'm assuming that's what they would be. Right there, these two are the golden bracelets, yep. That's what it looks like. And then, of course, he comes out of, I don't think they have a teapot. I guess they down there, oh, he has this red thing. Right there. I don't see any red thing on the car. I guess be right there. I mean, they really covered all the details with Jeannie here, didn't they? And, of course, he comes out of the uh, teapot, which is right there. So he comes out of It's hooked onto him because, well, he's kind of part of it. So, beautiful job, Mattel. Not only did you choose a beautiful casting for Jeannie, but you gave him all the correct details. He has one earring, the hair, the mustache, the, the, uh, the teeth, the teapot, everything. I mean, you guys did it beautifully. Great job, Mattel. I love it. Love how you do it. Uh, you really do have, you really have a expertise as character cars and Genie, I mean, probably one of your best character cars today. Him and Doyle. I mean, I said, this is one of, this may be the best character car line so far. Donald is a hit. Dory as well. Simba, I guess Simba looks pretty good too. So, put him in there too, but we'll put him in there later. But right now, they're they're four for four on how the characters look. Like, precisely to the exact detail. They're four for four right now. Next, we're gonna go on to probably my favorite car from this set. Baymax. I love Baymax as a character, and uh, his car looks pretty cool too. Almost, it looks similar to Dory, but I, I like Dory's car, so yeah, looks like Baymax looks similar to her, but futuristic design. I mean, he's San Francisco after all, is where he's from, so it has to be futuristic. Now, there's this button on the bottom. I'm not sure if it does anything. Wait a sec. Can you pop the body off? I don't know. I feel like this has to do something, but it doesn't do anything. Interesting. So thinking maybe we could pop the body off and it will reveal a uh, like red thing. It's interesting. It shouldn't probably be there. Just normally just have that there. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyways, let me know if you guys know what that's. Four, but uh, the camp is kind of uh, steamed up a little bit there. But there are his eyes, like to the exact, those are his eyes right there. The eyes with the line, beautiful job. Um, then he has this little like logo where you can like put a data chip in there or whatnot. He has that. I think he only has it on one side, but they put it on both sides for the car. And kind of Baymax, he's just a big, fluffy, marshmallowy type guy, so there's really nothing to do. It's just a big, white car, which it should be. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Then in the back, the wheels are, are awesome. I love the rims on this thing. It's like this little uh, sunroof type thing, I guess. I don't know what this would be. 
Oh, this may be where they, like, uh, you know how he has the TV on him? Like, right here, this may be where that is. That could be, like, the TV. Then the back, he's carrying his, uh, super suit. Well, not super suit, that's more of Incredibles. But he's carrying his, like, uh, thingy, his suit. I guess it is a super suit, technically, because his suit that he puts on when he becomes a superhero and becomes part of Big Hero 6, uh, becomes part of the six heroes. So it's the red, uh, super suit. See, I feel like this should pop off because you see there's a red base. So why would there just be a randomly a red base? So I feel like this should pop off, but I'm not sure. I don't want to break it because I'm not sure. I feel like that's definitely down there for something, but I don't know. And I'm not going to experiment. So I wouldn't recommend trying to pop that thing off because I'm not sure if it should be. It's just my estim estimation, well, estimation, my guess that it may, but I don't know. So, Baymax looks awesome. I love him as a character, and the car doesn't disappoint either. So, they're 5 for 5 right now. Trying to go for 6 for 6. What? Why is this here? What is this? Oh, no, Lee. What are you? Get, 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 get out of here. There we go. Um, yeah, Baymax. Very nice. I love him as a character. And the car definitely represents him very nicely. So, let's move on to the last character. Maybe the le my least favorite not sure maybe just because I haven't seen the movie. Yes, I haven't seen Moana. I know. It's probably not that good. But I haven't seen Moana. So, um, like, Big Hero 6. I've seen that movie. Uh, G Aladdin, I haven't seen that movie, but I really like the casting. Uh, Dory, I've seen Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Uh, Donald Duck, uh, who doesn't know who Donald Duck is? I've watched a bunch of the old, like, Donald Duck stuff. Simba. Um, I know I watched The Lion King a long time ago, so I guess I have technically watched the movie. So, the only two I haven't watched is uh, Aladdin and Moana, but Genie, I really like his band model. Moana, it's like a dune buggy. I guess I know why they did it, because beaches, dune buggies, um, kind of thing. But, I don't know. I like vans more than dune buggies. But, uh, let's see, maybe the casting is just phenomenally done and... I like it just as much. Now, one thing I do love is how they have this, like, almost like a car carrying a surfboard. They have her carrying her paddle or whatever that is. I'm not sure. But, uh, it's awesome. Like, X-Racer wheels. With the little wheels in the front. X-Racer wheels in the back. Big X-Racer wheels in the back. Like a theme or X-Racer wheels. They have it on Dory, too. So, let's compare Moana here to the casting. So, of course, you have her necklace right there. That would be right there, the little emblem on the front of the car. Of course, you have, like, your, her suit, or her swimsuit, I guess. Uh, that would be uh, the red, the whole part of the car. Or not the whole part of the car. The whole design of the car is the red. That would be based on that right there. And then, of course, she has her, like, uh, I don't know what this would be, like, a blanket or a towel. I don't know. I think that's what that is representing back here, is her towel. And, uh, of course, uh, so that's representing her towel. That's representing her swimsuit. That, of course, is representing her paddle right here. I think that's what that is, a paddle. Of course, she's like, I mean, it, it works beautifully because a dune buggy could, you would expect it to maybe carry a surfboard or whatever. And this looks some very similar to a surfboard, surfboard. So it's it makes sense that it's carrying it on on its roof. I mean, beautifully well done, Mattel. I can see why they chose this model for her. I'd say they're six for six on this one. This, this, this may be the best series they have done so far, and if this is their best, then they still have more series planning to come. I can't wait to see what will happen in series five, and if we get series six, and blah, 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 so on, so on. Because, I mean, series six, they went six for six on spot-on castings. So, let me know what your favorite model is from series uh, series uh, 4 here. I like the Genie. I like Baymax. Donald's a really nice one as well. Simba's pretty cool. I like finding Do I like Dory because I like the fish cars. You can tell does it perfectly. Um, I probably have to choose the Genie or the Baymax. Not the Genie or the Baymax. Genie or the Bay... Or, not Genie or Baymax is my favorite. Uh, Donald's pretty close up there too, and so are Do so is Dory. Moana and Lion King are, are, are Mo Moana and Simba are 
at the back, but they're still I still like them as well. I mean, these two castings are kind of unique, honestly. You don't really see this huge truck all the time. Uh, this, I guess, if you go to the Matchbox, you'll see that a lot. But Hot Wheels, I just not symbol. Uh, Matchbox, or not Hot Wheels, you won't see that a lot. Matchbox, if you go to the Matchbox style, they'll be on every five pack and in every single package. So, um, yeah, let me know what your favorite casting is. Uh, in the comment section below. And do you think Series 4 is the best series yet? I think I still have yet to upload Series 1, but I want to get this video out because it's new. So, yeah. Um, I think I'll have a uh, link in my in the comment section to my Patreon and a Google Doc, or not a Google Docs, a Google uh, form where you guys can vote on what, on what you want me to review first, second, and third. And I'll be taking the responses, seeing who, how much there is who, who won for first place, second place, and third place. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out my Patreon, the Google uh, form. Uh, subscribe to this channel for more Hot Wheels, Disney character cars, Marvel character cars, Toy Story character cars, Cars 3 reviews. Um, like this video, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.